I am a multimedia artist, so I don't just paint in the street, although I do that a lot. Um, I also paint paintings and I make masks and I make sculpture and installation art as well, conceptual art, video, film, photography, all of the above. I feel like artists are not supposed to be pigeonholed into one medium. I feel like we're creative entities and we're allowed to reach out like we have octopus arms and be involved in all kinds of mediums because we're creative people. My name is Bud Snow and I'm in Stockholm, Sweden for art. I was part of the Stockholm Fringe Festival and the Radical Love Parade with Michelle Pred and a bunch of other feminist artists. Uh, through the Fringe Festival, I was lined up with a wall at Snocetra, which is the largest graffiti and street art outdoor curated gallery in all of Scandinavia. And it's a very cool place filled with graffiti and street art and murals. And uh, I feel blessed to be here. I just finished a 50 foot mural on this wall here. And it took six days and I just finished. I grew up in Vancouver, BC, and sort of in a circus, actually. My dad is a, an activist, a political activist, and a street performer, and I'm an only child, so that was sort of my unit, you know? Those were my friend group when I was young. Also, my mom is a full-time painter. I never thought I'd be a painter, but uh, one day my friend was running a restaurant in a venue downtown Vancouver, and she just said, hey, Julia, do you want to paint my building? Here's the keys. She, I remember she threw the keys at me. And she's like, I'm going to a festival, I'll be back in a week. And she just gave me the keys to her building. So much trust, so much love, so much heart there. She saw my large paintings, she knew I could do it, and she believed in me. This art piece is about personal freedom and the freedom to be oneself and express oneself, no matter who you are, where you come from, the color of your skin, your sexuality. Um, it's about ultimate joy and ultimate freedom in life. And each box contains a symbol that is from my oeuvre or my icons that I've drawn for over 15 years. At the top, we have the twin sisters that are connected by their hair. And those, those sisters represent our connection, our sisterly connection with other women, our almost intuitive connection with other women. Even though I don't have a sister, I'm an only child, I feel a profound soul connection with lots of ladies. And I work almost predominantly with women of all ages on my murals. I try to have assistants that um, are women or, or women identifying, female identifying, because I feel like this is such a male dominated arena, street art and graffiti, that I love to give the opportunity to other women and to young women especially uh, to paint a big wall and to have the opportunity to get their hands on a large painting. Then we come down to the cross sticks, which almost look like two dicks fighting. They're crossing each other, which is a very strong icon. It's sort of an icon for our trans friends and the trans movement, but also the fluidity of sexuality and how we're all different. We all come from a different headspace around sexuality and a different background and our desires are different. And these dicks have vaginas in the tips and they've got boobs as the balls. And I love that fluidity of sex. I feel like that's how life is and we can't ignore it, we can't run from it. So let's put it on a wall and let's um, celebrate it. Uh, the next one is the powerful dolphin. I'm a surfer in California and I surf with dolphins and I have to say they're one of the freest, most liberated animals on the planet. They look almost ancient to me and uh, I'm so inspired by them. The next box we have a stack of black sheep. A black sheep, as you know, is someone that's different. It's a term for somebody that's different and uh, aggressively who they are. Maybe that's a bad word, aggressive, but they're so themselves, you know? They, they stand out, they're out of the box. I'm surrounded by freaks and angels and all kinds of people that I absolutely find fascinating and incredible and they, that live their lives according to their own modality and their own sensibility. Then we have the mermaid, which is sort of the feminine uh, version of the dolphin, lives in the sea, is a mythical creature, um, is a feminine creature and a wild style creature. I just love mermaids. So there she is. The one on the top there is a representation of myself. I drive a 1961 Dodge Lancer. It's got fins, it's super cool car. It gives me, it empowers me to drive that car. So that's sort of a self portrait, that top right one. Um, this woman who's just so engaged in driving through life as a free agent, you know, just living completely 
freely. And then the crab on the side of the car, I'm a Cancer. And I like astrology, so I put that in there as well. Then we have the totem of women in the, on the end there. And the totem of women really is about generations of women um, coming through each other. And there's a baby represented in the bottom and generations going past and up uh, through each individual woman. And I find it fascinating that we can carry our stories forward and we can connect with each other. And that totem is representative of that. So I guess that's the mural in a nutshell. Yeah. It's very personal to me. And it's the first time I've really uh, expressed the things that I draw in my drawing book on a wall. You know, I, I do a lot of murals and I always draw things that I regularly draw. But this mural in particular is sort of an amalgamation of, of icons that I've drawn for many years. and. I'm going to start doing it more. I like it. It's sort of like a story, you know? I like that it tells a story and it's in a format that reminds me of a comic book. The future is a really interesting concept. I, I love the idea of the future and I really love even more the idea of the present moment. And, you know, right now I'm on the brink of the future, but I'm here right now, as Ram Dass would say, be here now. And Ram Dass has been a huge influence on my life. Spirituality is a huge influence in my life. Um, and I feel like the future, you know, it's ever changing and ever exciting. And I want to travel around the world. I want to continue painting murals and sharing stories and uplifting others, connecting with women, connecting with men, connecting with like-minded people, freaks angels, all kinds of people, and uh, I just want to live a creative and free life, and my future is so bright I need sunglasses.